Do you want to learn some tips on how to prep a glider for launch? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. I'm going to prep the Mini Condor Boost Glider for flight in this video. And I want to show you all the little tips and techniques that I learned the hard way by a lot of failures so that you don't repeat the same ones. Um, as you can see, the first tip is to paint it a nice bright color. These things have a tendency to fly really far and they'll land in places that you'll never imagine. So you want to give them a nice bright color so that they stand out when they land. You don't want them to, uh, to remain the natural balsa wood color because then they're going to get lost in the trees and the dead, the dead grass and whatever. So paint it a nice color. Um, our booster uh, pod, I did not paint, but you can paint that as well. Um, to prep that, um, you want to start by putting the rocket motor in, and you can see it's hitting the, the uh, engine block in there. Um, if you don't have an engine block in there, have it hang out approximately three-eighths of an inch. Um, then we're going to take some masking tape, and this is what holds the engine in. Um, when you put it on, You'll put it right up against there, but you'll notice that it hangs over the edge a little bit. So I'm going to tear off about a third of it um, so that it doesn't hang off so much. Otherwise, you have to come back and just cut it off. So you'll wrap the tape around the perimeter and then push it down really hard um, so that the engine now can't move. It can't go either forward or out the back. Um, You'll want to take a piece of wadding. Um, you, it only takes um, about a three quarters of a sheet. Um, that's probably three quarters of a sheet there. And you'll want to loosely roll it up. Don't ball it up real tight, nice and loose, because we want to fill the tube up with um, approximately, you know, a body tube diameter or two. Um, and, we, and if you ball it up too tight, then the ejection gases can get around the side. So then uh, push that in as far as it'll go, all the way down to the rocket motor. You can see how far down I am. And I got two little squares here. I'll push that one down as well. Now you can see the shock cord was kind of got caught up in there, so I'll pull that out. And I like to daisy chain the shock cord and I've got a different video that shows how to create the daisy chain. Um, so I won't describe that here, but I'll just do it real quick. You can also loosely roll it up. Um, I like the daisy chain um, because it has less of a tendency to um, knot up on itself. And, um, and it also slows down the opening so that there's less tendency to zipper the body tube. So we're, what started out as a really long piece of cord is now fairly short. And I can slide that inside and push it down. And when you get to the shot or the streamer, just go ahead and roll that up. well like that I'm caught on the uh, shock cord anchor this is why it doesn't want to go in so I need to roll it a little bit tighter so that I can get past it you can also zigzag fold this um, and that will be fine and there's another video on our website on how to zigzag fold a streamer. We don't really care that this stays in the air a, a long time. We just want it to come down fairly fast, close to the launch pad, so that because we're going to be out looking for the glider, and um, so we want this to fall as close to the pad as possible. Now you can see that this nose cone is really loose, um, so I'm going to take another piece of tape, and I need to cut it about the width of the shoulder that's sticking out. And 
one wrap around the perimeter should do it. You hear that? That was my dog. He came inside here. <laughs> he was looking at me. What am I doing? Okay, so now it's, it's much tighter. It's still fairly loose, but um, I want it to come off. And so this is ready to go. Um, we also want to test the fit of the hook on the, the glider boom. Um, and if you can hold the glider and the, boot and the pod doesn't fall off like it just did, that would be a nice fit. But this one's a little loose. So we're going to use the same technique that we showed in the previous video on how to put the, um, the wings on, where we take the glue. This is thick super glue. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the boom, take a plastic bag because it won't stick to my finger then. And you want to put it on both sides. Okay, and then this is the accelerator, which instantly cures it. It does leave residue, so I always wipe it off afterwards. And so there's just a little bit of extra thickness on there. And now I can hold it by the pot or the glider and it doesn't fall off very easily. So that's a good fit. That's what you want. So now we're ready to go out to the launch pad. And I have a launch pad here. And when you're on the pad, this will go on first. And you see it slides all the way down to the bottom. And if you put the glider on, um, it has a tendency to fall off. So what we need to do is to hold the pot up a little bit high so that the tail is just clearing the launch uh, blast deflector. So you'll notice right there where it is. And I'm going to take a piece of tape. And my tape is only about a one inch long piece of tape. And I want to find out where it is, right about there. And I want to wrap it around. And when I get close to the end, I want to take the tape and then fold it back on itself. And that kind of gives me a little tab that when it comes time to unwrapping it, allows me to just pull it right off. And it also makes a nice little shelf that it no longer slides down. So now I can hang the glider on and it will, will fit just fine, just like that. Now when we go to hook up the, the uh, launch launcher and our, and our wires, um, the igniter will go inside here first and then push it down. Always do it upside down so that, it, that the uh, the tip is always touching the propellant inside. Then bend it over and then push in your plug just like that. And then kind of separate the legs just a little bit. And we'll put it back on the rod. Hang it on there like that. Now, I don't want to just hook up the wires like this. Because what happens is when it takes off, these fall down and they can have a tendency to grab the bottom of the glider. And that's no good because then you're going to rip your uh, the fins right off. And trust me, I've done it. <laughs> it's not fun. Um, so what we want to do is we want to create an umbilical mast. And we're going to take a, a long wood dowel and we're going to shove it right into the ground really tight and kind of have it at a little bit of an angle so it so it angles away from the glider a little bit. And we're going to tape the wires on there just like this. So if this is in the ground, you want to just make contact with the igniter wires. Wrap that around there like that. And then you can hook things up. Again, make sure that they don't touch each other. Make sure the glider is on nice and sturdy, like that. So that when it takes off, these will simply just drop down, straight down, and away from the important bits down here. 
Uh, one other tip. Um, see this tape right here? You have to make sure that the tape is, is very thin and doesn't get hooked on the leading edge of the wing. Done that too. Um, so make sure it's wrapped around completely like that and so that it doesn't, doesn't catch on the glider wing. So that is my tips on prepping the Mini Condor Boost Glider for flight. Um, over here to the side, we have some other videos, including that one where I showed you how to daisy chain um, a, um, the shock cord, uh, plus another one I think that you'll enjoy. Um, down here, if you're watching on YouTube, we have the like button and the subscribe button. Go ahead and click those. And even uh, better, make a, uh, a comment down there. Let us know what you think of this video and any questions that you might have. We do read them. Um, and my name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.